What's up Giant Slayers? Brandon here from David vs. Fly PJJ. In today's video, I'm really excited to share with you guys uh, some of the new techniques I learned from uh, attending Leo Vera's uh, seminar this past weekend. So if you guys wanna learn uh, and kinda catch up to speed what I got to learn this weekend, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be splitting up uh, this recap into three different sections or three different parts. So this is gonna be part one. Uh, if you guys wanna watch part two and three, I'll go ahead and leave a link uh, in the description or in the tag above. Uh, so be sure to check that out also. Uh, but the first concept uh, that he kind of talked about was from uh, the guard. So I'm gonna have Tim start off in my guard. All right guys, so the first concept is gonna be from the guard. Um, Leo likes to talk about from the top person, one of the best ways to pass the guard is to disengage. Okay, so you don't want the feet on the hips. You don't want the feet you know, behind your knees or on your biceps. You wanna try and back out and get to a position where uh, there's nothing attached to you, so then you can start to run around. Okay, so from the bottom person's perspective, we want to avoid that. Okay, so usually the top person is looking to control your legs, right? So in this situation, uh, Leo was having us uh, control two sleeves. Okay, from here, we're tucking our elbows to our sides. And yeah, Tim's holding onto my pant grips here. I can cut the grips. All right, but I'm connecting my elbows to my sides here, and I'm playing my feet to the outside. Okay, so notice I'm not having feet in, directly in front of the hips, right, like I would to maybe try and go for a monkey flip type of sweep. Okay, I'm turning my feet out, okay, almost, you know, I'm a pigeon toe. Okay, so the top of my foot, my shoelaces, is hooking Tim's back. Okay, so Leo has a similar body type to me. He has a longer upper body, shorter legs. And the way he was describing this is, this is his way to almost play closed guard when you have short legs. Okay, so when I have feet on the hips, Right, a lot easier for Tim to start to back out and get away from me. And I apologize guys if Tim's head is out on the frame, he's a giant, okay? But uh, instead of putting feet on the hips here, right, he's going pigeon toed here, okay, closing his knees, and again, top of the shoelace is hooking the hips here. Okay, so notice guys, my guard isn't closed, but if Tim tries to back out in this situation, it's a lot harder for him to run away. Okay, so that was a really big light bulb moment for me because I got short legs, and I assume a lot of you guys who follow me have short legs also, okay? So, uh, but, you know, even if you guys have longer legs, there's always gonna be a time where you can't close your guard against somebody big, uh, like Tim, or even bigger. Uh, so this works well. Uh, he didn't have a name for it, he was just kind of sharing more concepts, but uh, I like to name things because it helps me remember better. So I'm calling this position pigeon guard <laughs> uh, because I'm pigeon toed, okay? So again, I'm connecting my knees, right? Or my knees are closing together, and then the top of my feet tucking the back. Okay, so if Tim tries to back out and get away, okay, it's hard. Okay, if he tries to circle to the side, okay, I can follow, I can follow. Okay, it's gonna be hard for him to do a knee slice directly up the middle because my knees are kind of closed, okay? And so in this situation, a lot of guys are gonna wanna pull. Okay, so as Tim tries to pull out of this, okay, I'm gonna slide with my back and try to get my butt underneath him in between his legs. Okay, so Tim, uh, if he, Tim backs out with his feet like that, we'll go to our second move. Uh, but for this position, Tim's gonna do more of a squat and look to lift with his back. Freeze, okay, so he's doing that. So you guys saw that Tim was trying to get out of this grip by posturing up, and that allowed me okay, to pull myself underneath him. Okay, from this situation, I'm gonna let go of the uh, cave grips on the sleeve, going to a double ankle sweep, two ankles, knocking him over, okay? so. Tim's gonna fall nicely for me here. You can stand your butt, Tim. Okay, so once he falls, uh, the details here is Tim has to pick a side for him to get up. Okay, he's gonna wanna get up to an elbow, possibly a hand on one side to try and retract his legs and sit back up. So if Tim decides to sit up on his left elbow, I'm gonna follow him like a mirror. Okay, I sit up on my right elbow. Okay, because my legs are up and over the top, I have an advantage. Okay, I can call it a time here. Okay, I can bring my hips up come up to the mouth position and take the top. That was option one. Okay, option two, right, is Tim's coming up to an elbow. Okay, I'm here. If I don't want to take the top, all right, I can collar tie, bring my leg out, look for triangles. Uh, that wasn't Leo's first option because he's got short legs just like I do. Uh, in this situation, I prefer to take the mount. Uh, and then the third option is if he's framing on me, he doesn't want me to come up, okay, I'm gonna hook his arm. Okay, so whether he's grabbing my collar or he's just pushing on me, okay, I'm coming up and over, I wanna get my hips high. In this situation, I usually like to lead with my knee. Uh, Leo is a big fan of coming up and over with his leg. 
Okay, so I'm coming all the way up and over, biting the neck. Okay, I'm gonna look towards the feet. And if Tim follows me, okay, then I'm gonna look to roll him over. Okay, and finish the arm bar. Sorry guys, I know we're kinda close, but uh, those are gonna be the three <laughs> options there. Uh, again, number one, taking them out. Number two, uh, going for the triangle. Number three, coming up for the arm bar. Okay guys, so picking back up from the pigeon guard here, all right, I'm in this position. Again, if Tim squats and lifts up, okay, that's when I slide underneath him, go for my double ankle sweep. Okay, if Tim tries to back out and away, to so freeze, then I'm gonna drop my guard, okay, and instead of coming up high like the pigeon guard, I'm wrapping the knee line here. Okay, so from here, I gotta pinch my knees together, all right, I'm not in a hurry to sweep. That was his main detail from here. I'm just controlling, I let uh, him lead the dance. Okay, he's stuck right now, his hands are attached to me. I don't wanna let him post his hands up above my head, because then he can start to get his knees out. Okay, so I wanna make sure I control the sleeves and keep it on my belt line here while I wrap the knees. Okay, so from here, Tim's gonna wanna move. Okay, all I have to do is, again, keep my elbows connected to my hips. Okay, and as he tries to get out, I'm gonna read his body weight, either dump him over to the left or right, just by tilting my knees and my hips. Okay, so Tim tries to get out. Okay, I can feel him. I dump him over here. Okay, uh, Tim's gonna scoot back just for a second so you guys can see. Okay, as I go to get up, okay, I'm looking across his arms. Okay, my top hand right now is gonna punch his hand to the ground. Okay, my bottom hand is gonna pull. Okay, Tim's gonna wanna try and get up from this position. All right, it doesn't matter if I end up uh, wrapping the legs in a half guard, a mile. The main thing is I'm finishing the sweep on top. That was his main detail. Okay, but right here, Tim's gonna wanna try and get up to his elbow. Okay, try to get up to your left elbow, Tim. So here, I wanna try and pull this grip out from underneath him and cross his hands. Okay, sometimes if the guy's big and strong or has a really good base, he comes up to his elbow. Okay, I'm not able to keep that grip, but my top hand is still dragging his arm across his center line. So if Tim does come up to that elbow, again, I can start to put in a seat belt and look for the back. Okay, so that's the main details uh, on that knee wrap sweep. Hey guys, so again from this position, after I dumped him over and crossing his arms, okay, I want to try and avoid him posting his elbow, but if he is able to get up to his elbow, get up to your elbow, Tim, I still have this hand punching across his center line. So as he gets up to his elbow, he's exposing his back to me. I can look for a seatbelt and look to attack the back. All right, guys, there you have it. Some of my biggest takeaways uh, from Leo's seminar this weekend, part one. Uh, be sure to stick around. Uh, and click the link in the description for part two and part three. And I uh, look forward to sharing with you guys uh, everything else that I learned. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram at David versus Clive PJJ, and I'll get right back to you. Again, appreciate your time. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.